Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, today we are going to drink yet another tea. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a tea that we just purchased. We haven't listed on the website, but I would imagine by the time that we get the video up, we will have listed on the website. Mm -hmm. um, grab the water here. It. This one. It's a Gaojia Shan from Hunan, Anhua County in Hunan. And it's a 400 gram brick from 2009, and it's Fu Cha. Um, it is a Fu Cha that um, doesn't seem to have any golden flowers, so um, there are multiple types of Fu Cha. Um, this also, the, um, the, the people in Hunan who made this tea told us that they actually consider it just a Hei Cha Zhuan mm -hmm. um, as opposed to a Fu Cha Zhuan. But um, although it does say on the wrapper Fu Cha. Yeah, um, Fu Zhuan Cha. They're really similar. Fu Cha and, and, and uh, Hei Cha Zhuan are very similar. Typically, Fu Cha will have golden flowers, but not necessarily. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hei Cha Zhuan, uh, just like black tea brick, won't have golden flowers. So this one, um, I've, we've got into it quite a bit. Um, and it doesn't have um, golden flowers, as far as I can tell. Yeah. It's 2009. And it's um, part of the Gao Jiaxian's Wild Tea Series, kind of like mm -hmm. the 2012, um, there's a little mark right here, Wild Tea um, Series by Gao Jiaxian. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let the, just set this down here. But yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna drink that. Um, really good tea. We, we've continued to add uh, more Hei Cha from Hunan. Uh, to our offering because it's it's just good yeah yeah i love the taste yeah so let's get to it and and again this is you know fairly tight compression um although it's stored in hunan it doesn't really have any kind of um like wet storage taste mm -hmm. at all um although hunan i think is you know can be really hot and humid in the summer and then the rest of the year it's you know, kind of spring and autumn, so-so, and winter can be quite cold and dry there. So, um, you know, it's got its own real unique kind of storage going on there, yeah. but I would consider it to be, you know, relatively dry stored. Not like, not as dry as Kunming, but, mm -hmm. but fairly dry. Um, unlike Liu Bao, which is from Guangxi, which is very- Very wet. Yeah, Guangxi is warm and humid both warm and humid most of the year, or at least half of the year. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we got some samples from Liuba. You know, with some age, it's really taste funky. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dump these. Oh, sorry. So formal. <laughs> so formal. Let's give this a smell. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of like molasses and little tobacco. I don't know how to describe well, you it. You always have something to. Say about the. <laughs> Am I making you look bad? Is that it? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But I try to find the. You know, I used to not even try to describe the teas really, mm -hmm. but now I'm trying to find the words in English that I would use, even if they're not really, you know, exactly the same. I mean, it's tea. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to talk about it and try to describe the taste, you're just going to say, it's tea. So you got to come up with something, you know, I mean, I'm, I have a lot of customers that they have incredibly descriptive, uh -huh. like long, yeah, they're very imaginative and, and, you know, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not definitely not able to do that, but I'm very bad at that. Okay. So, okay. But I know if I drink the good tea. I know it's good tea. <laughs> yeah. I just 
Well, it's that's kind of the me. most important thing too. Yeah. I mean, when I'm drinking tea and I decide if I want to, if I want to get a tea to resell it, I'm not coming up with a list of words to justify why I like the tea. Mm. I either like the tea and find it interesting and worthwhile, or I don't. Um, in terms of describing it, that's just to try to give people a little bit of a direction to go to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We drink this so many times. Yeah. Yeah, it's got, it does have like a smoke and molasses, tobacco. It's got a little bit of like, it almost has a like an old Shengpur kind of taste to it too, yeah. I think. I think this makes sense because, you know, it's age, the tea. Yeah. And uh, when it's young, it's like... It's more light, right? Definitely. This is yeah. more dark than like a new Fujuan would be or a new uh, Hei Cha Zhuan. It's very good. I really like uh, Hei Cha uh, Hei Cha Hei Cha Zhuan. We have a uh, no, one kilo. 2007, yeah. Xiangyi. Yeah, that one's uh, good too. Yeah, that one's really good. It's like a square, one kilo uh, square brick, fang cha. That's really, really good. It's like sour and fruity and sweet and it's just so incredibly unique. And this has a little bit of that too, but this is definitely more of a, this is definitely a different kind of Let me see if I can get some information on the wrapper. This is a Yun Tai Shan Da Ye Zhong Ye Shen Yuan Liao. Yun Tai Mountain. Yeah. Yun Tai Mountain. Yeah. Yun Tai Mountain. Uh, large leaf varietal. And, uh, Wild yeah, material. Yeah. Oh, that's high. Bash Yi Tian Do Mi. The altitude of the tea area, growing area, is a thousand meters or more. Mm. But it's, they said it's supposed to have Jinghua. Maybe it's a press that is very tight. Hmm. Interesting. Or maybe, it, I don't know, I'm not sure. Sometimes they just they use the same. Well, so see, this is. Mm. This is very similar to the wrapper that we have, or not the wrapper, but the sticker that's on the um, 2012 mm -hmm. uh, Shan Wild Tianjian Basket that we have. Yeah. I don't know what, I haven't actually looked at that recently to see if they have the same print. Well, and they call it Fudron, but the seller that we get it from calls it Hei hey Cha Zhuan. Um, I don't see any golden flowers. And that's the thing, I think um, on the website I say, Pretty much all of these teas, I say, especially Fu Cha and Hei Cha Zhuan, I just say generic, I have a disclaimer that says if these, um, if you are, you know, possibly allergic to gluten, because I've heard that they, they inoculate the, um, they basically, they get the golden flowers to grow on wheat, mm -hmm. and then they use that to inoculate the tea so that the golden flowers will, will uh, grow in the tea. I've heard that that's the case. So um, I put that on all the descriptions and some people confuse that for thinking that the tea has golden flowers. Um, sometimes I don't know entirely. Um, I would say this one doesn't. I just, I think we yeah. would see it because I went fairly far into the middle of the brick. 
usually only if it has golden flowers but you don't see it it's because it's you've got the edge mm -hmm. the edge won't have it yeah, yeah the edge is too dry i think this one's uh press is so tight yeah i don't think it has it i don't yeah. think no i don't think they meant i don't think it was meant to have it mm. i will get more information later I'm gonna do two steeps together here and hold this up so people can see the piece. Wow. It's dark. Yeah, very transparent and bright tea soup as well with this one. And strong tea too. Yeah. Wow. It's so incredibly one. unique. It really it really does remind me of uh, old Sheng Sheng Por, like an aged Shampoo. Even the tea leaf look like uh, yeah. raw pour. Well, what the tea, the dry, the brick, if I didn't know what this was, if somebody just handed me that brick, I would think it was a Dehong Yesheng. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks exactly like that. Mm. And the taste is, have something same too. Yeah, this is really good. Really thick, rich, spicy, m minerally. I believe it when they, when they, because Gao Jia Shan doesn't put this wild tea, you know, um, you know, stamp like they have on it on most of their teas. It's only a very few um, that actually have that. And I think it's from one specific like wild tea garden that they have. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think they make Tianjin and Fu Cha from that. But, um, yeah, I, I tend to, especially feeling the Cha Chi with this one, it's really yes. like drunken, kind of like, yeah, it's really I can't feel noticeable. My back. Yeah. I would tend to actually really believe their claim, you know, and I'm, yeah. I'm always pretty skeptical about, you know, claims like that. But, um, not to mention the fact that their 2012 Gao Jia Shan, the 2012 Gao Jia Shan Wild Tianjin um, in the basket mm -hmm. is really one of the best Tianjin I've ever had. It's just so incredibly complex yeah. and tasty. Let me boil the water here. This really does remind me the like an old Ge Hong Ye Shen Zhuo. Yeah, the taste not so much, but the feeling. Yeah, the taste is kind of like a. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I, again, it's you can compare it to some other stuff, but it really doesn't. It really can't really be compared because it's just not. It's just a totally unique thing from a unique area and yeah. unique processing. So. We were off the samples, right? Yeah, we'll offer samples for sure. Yeah. This isn't going to be cheap, but it's not going to be hyper expensive either. Um, 400 grams. Yeah, 400 grams. So it's, you yeah. know, it's, which this is also unusual about it. I don't think I've ever seen a 400 gram. It's very uncommon. A 400 gram food brick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah, the most get common. Yeah, sample try. Yeah. It's a very yeah. special. Yeah. Mm. It's very good. Yeah. It's interesting because this kind of more like premium, like fu, fu cha, mm -hmm. uh, is a new thing. You know, if you go back to the 90s and the 80s and whatever, and you, you try the fu cha from then, mm -hmm. I've tried quite a few, um, even like early 2000s, they're all pretty coarse material and very green when they're young. Yeah. Um, and most of them do have golden flowers, but I think even the Hei Chadron, the old ones, like we used to get some from, we had some from the 90s, early 90s, way back. Mm -hmm. I bought in Kunming uh, a long time ago, almost 15 years ago. Um, and they're all gone now. They were dirt cheap at the time. And I just, yeah. I was like, what is this? This is interesting. Cool. All those old ones were all really coarse material, big leaf, yeah. pretty green mm -hmm. when they were young. Um, because they still make it, they still make them in that traditional way too. And then now they've come out with ones that are a little bit more. The material is a little bit 
you know, more selective what they use using higher altitude material, not mixing it. Um, less big burly stems. The, le the, the leaves, like this one, the leaves haven't been allowed to mature like to, into big leaves like mm -hmm. they would with some of the uh, classic ones. Um, so it's a really different, yeah. these kind of like newer fu cha, you know, style um, using fancier, you know, kind of better, higher quality material. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the oldest one that I've tasted. Most of the ones that I've tasted are all 2012, 2013 yeah. and later. This so. one's 2009, so it's that's kind of old. Yeah, before any ones that I've tasted that are older than this are all... Big leaves. Yeah, real coarse and they're still good, but yeah. a very different, a very different style that they're that they've decided to do here, which is yeah. I think is interesting. And um, here they said it's a uh, uh, Oh, Second grade two. Grade, yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure they, you know. Yeah, I to be honest with you, I don't really entirely know the the Hunan, you know, Anhua tea grading. Mm -hmm. you know type I know that I'm sure that RG is a finer type leaf you know yeah. kind of like what would be with Pu'er except with Pu'er they don't usually use RG it's e e G and it's Sanji yeah, yeah one three seven. five seven nine like that so yeah I I could definitely know more about teas from the from from Hunan I, I'm continue will continue to learn but I think I've also, I think we also have a good idea of what's good at this point. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing. You drink tea for 15, 20 years and, you know, you start to, when you drink thousands of different kinds of tea, you start to just kind of know like, oh, this is good tea. Yeah. You know, like this Sometimes is, Sometimes it's yeah. not about, you know, how good, great the tea they use. Yeah, the size of the leaf yeah. isn't really that, isn't really important at all. I mean, it is important, but it doesn't denote quality. Mm -hmm. Grade one isn't necessarily better than grade two. Wow. Mm. Now that the smokiness and the tobacco has faded a little bit, I feel like it tastes more like young shengpur or, yeah. or uh, old shengpur. Old shengpur, young yeah. shengpur. Cha qi hen zu. Yeah. I feel hot and sweat. Yeah. This is maybe it's because I'm wearing too much. This would definitely be like a good winter tea or aperitif after a heavy meal. And it's going strong here. This is one of those teas so too nice. that yeah, that's I mean it really I haven't really noticed any you know, dip, maybe the slight one on this last steep here, but mm -hmm. it really isn't losing power at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really strong tea. It's really strong. It's definitely, definitely got me too. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got ya. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. You're not excused. There's no excuse. Yeah, uh, yeah. But um what else? Yeah, 2012 Gao Jiashan, I think we mentioned that in one of the other videos that we're gonna be uh, we bought a yeah, we bought a thirty six kilo Qian Liang, yeah. um thing that we're gonna have cut up in the discs and um that's really, really good too. Yeah. Um juicy, thick. Um, not quite as aged as this one, but very smooth and very nice. I think it's going to be a really good tea as well. Yeah, that one is good. It will offer like big cake around uh, 700 grams and have some sample, small samples. Yeah, we're going to cut them up. Yeah. We're going to take part of it and cut them up into little cubes too. Kind of like we did with the 2007... Um, yeah, yeah. Now that we're selling. And uh, we also uh, got some Tianjian and uh, Gongjian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be 
I'll be upset soon. Definitely by the time the video comes out. Yeah. Wow. This teeth never get a week. No, and it just keeps getting showing different sides of itself too. You know? It's just yeah. like it's just like, oh, here's another, here's another side, here's another, you know. We got another different taste. It's interesting because I feel like it's losing a little bit of its it's losing a little power, but it's not losing its complexity. It just keeps changing and um Hmm. Wow. Sweet and good. I think we're going to cut it off here. We don't want to go too long. Um, this tea, I think ha it's going to, it's going to go quite a long time. Yeah. And, yeah. um, but yeah, definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. This is the 2009 Gao Jia Shan. Um, I think we're going to refer to it as a Hei Cha Zhuan. Yeah. 2009 Gao Jia Shan Wild Hei Cha Zhuan. Um, so definitely check that out um, on the site. If you're curious how to find it, you could go to Hey Cha, click that plus, which collapses the menu, and then click on um, uh, Hunan, Hunan Fujuan, or Hunan Hei Cha Zhuan. Mm -hmm. I'll probably put it in both categories just to make it a little easier to find. So thanks yeah. for watching, and yeah. uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.